Blood pressure 135 over 70, mm -hmm. SATs 100, mm -hmm. pulse 85. No, it's rising. Right, I think we need to move them fast. We haven't much time. Am I going to be all right? Stomach's rumbling. Oh, no. It must be ready, steady, clock. Yes. Quick! <laughs> to Ready, Steady, Cook. Great food coming your way. Let's meet today's chef and guest. First up in the red kitchen, please welcome Chef Gary Dalton with Holby City's Sharon D. Clark. <laughs> and over in the green kitchen, Chef Nick Nairn is today joined by Holby City's Luke Roberts. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, so good to see you again, Sharon. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, good goody, good. You. Now you're Lola in the Holby City. Yes, yes. And you're a bit bossy. Are you bossy she in the is... kitchen? No, no, I, I love it in the kitchen. I love people to help. I love, yeah. to help. I love to cook. I'm this is bossy. your domain, I feel, yes, isn't it? Yes, I'm yeah. a foodie, as uh, you can see. I can tell. And you've got the perfect chef here to cook you up something That's rather nice. Chef. First, let's have a look at your ingredients. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Are you good at shopping? Do you take time when you go out and shop? Um, if I'm if I'm cooking something particular and I know yeah. what I want, I can just go in and get it. But I like to browse, see what takes my fancy, see what inspires me. Like, oh, I haven't tried that before. Put that in my bag. Yeah. Jeez, I'm right, you want like me to dress the shop now? Yeah, dash right, it then. out, darling. Let's Come have on. a little bit of a look. <laughs> okay, what have you bought along today? Mm -hmm. I have here a couple of duck breasts. Mm. The couscous, mm. which for me is a, it's a new thing. It's like the last two years I've gotten into couscous. Yeah. I've never really tried it before. In this okay, time. I love it. My favourite fruit in the world, mango. Yeah, very, That's very nice indeed. Shining star of Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> Asparagus, corn and, and onion. And How much did you onion. spend? £7.46. Oh, I think it's a really, really good shop there, Sharon. What do you think then, uh, Gary? Oh, lovely, lovely. Nice to see two duck breasts as well, which yes, is fantastic. Yes, of course, the sheer. You Not did one. shop well. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I think what we'll do is we're going to have to do something like some honey roast and sort of clovey duck, mm -hmm. sort of honey roast duck there. We'll roast some um, uh, asparagus as well. Mm. Balsamic, a bit of chilli maybe. Yes, yes, bit, bit of spice in there for mm -hmm. you. Um, then I think with a bit of the duck and the sweet corn, we'll do maybe uh, like a broth, sort Ooh. of a bit of a soupy type broth thing. Yes. And then with the couscous, we'll probably do that maybe a couple of ways. Maybe traditionally, just with you know hot water and lots of herbs, and then we might roast it. Um, with lots of olive oil, just get a bit of extra flavour in there. I've wow. never had the roasted couscous. I look forward to that. Sound good to you? Very nice. Sound good? Yes, She's yes. absolutely delighted. I thought that was a good oh, choice. Thank you, Logan. Yes. Very nice. Thank, thank you. you. OK. Thank you. How are you, mate? Looking really good. Nice to see you. I love it, Now, love I've, I've, I've just been speaking to Sharon down there, Lola. I don't know, what, what do you call her, Sharon or Lola? Uh, well, it depends really on the time of day. Yeah. Uh, between seven and seven, it's Lola, otherwise it's Sharon. It's yeah, Sharon. Sharon. Well, Sharon's very passionate about her food and the cooking and everything. Yes. Do you show equal passion? Do you, are you quite sort of uh, excited when you when get in the kitchen? Yes, yes, absolutely. No, I'm a big, I'm, you know, I'm very much into my food. I'm not it's so good at cooking it, but yeah. uh, I certainly enjoy like eating eat it. it. Yes. Oh, here's you, the you will be today. Mm. You begin today, I can feel it. Oh, yeah, you feel yeah, a yeah. culinary yeah. thing brewing up there. Yeah. Go on, OK, mate. here we go. Yeah. Spray Spray everything. A couple of jars Please. in there. Ooh, Ooh, a little caper fan. Tell us what you bought along then. OK, what we have here is a little dolce latte. Mm -hmm. It's not so, uh, not so healthy, but it gives it a little punch, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm quite a cheese fan. Uh, we've got some salmon. It's a mighty fillet there, so uh, mm, lots of opportunities. Quite. Mm. Uh, we've got some capers. Uh, we have some roasted peppers here, some peas, because I can eat peas with pretty much anything and some filo pastry because I just I love it but I, I just don't understand it mm. okay. a lot of people don't actually <laughs> no it's one of those things you eat in restaurants give me both it's great <laughs> oh. how much does that cost you then Elk? Um, this cost seven pounds and 33 pence okay so that's cheaper a... than uh, Sharon's option bistro bag you know we're allowed to spend up seven pounds fifty on the show but what does our chef Nick think about it will he be able to create something fabulous with it what do you think Nick? Oh, I think there's a little filo fan here going on with the dolce latte cheese I think we're gonna bake some of the salmon in some of the filo um, we're gonna make 
take uh, a little bit of uh, raw salmon and we're going to uh, flavour that with some of the capers, a little bit of roasted uh, uh, peppers. And I think as well that there is something nice going on with this, a little fricassee of, of peas as a side dish. And uh, there's another bit of salmon there. The idea for that is brewing as we, uh, as as we, we speak. Pee, we yeah. do you yes, keep absolutely. brewing that idea. Sound good, Luke? Yeah, sounds pretty good. Yeah, Luke's <laughs> absolutely delighted, ladies and gentlemen. Our chefs get 20 minutes to actually produce all that food. Is it achievable? You're about to find out when I say, ready, steady, cook. Get those aprons on, guys. OK. Holby City's in town today, ladies and gentlemen. Joseph and Lola, better known as Luke. And, of course, lovely Sharon here. Great recipes coming your way. Right. What are you starting off, then, Chef? Right, OK. What we're going to do is we're going to do duck in sort of two ways. We're going to mm -hmm. sort of roast it uh, with some cloves and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And then we're also... as cloves and, and honey. And then we're also going to do some, uh, like, a broth. So we use, make some bouillon, mm -hmm. and then we're going to sort of poach it in the bouillon with, Great. you know, with the cute, with the, with the uh, um, sweet corn, uh -huh. a bit of the, bit of the asparagus, a bit of onions. It'll be a lot more like a sort of a clear stock Absolutely. broth thing. Okay, which would be lovely. So uh, if, if I go out to the supermarket, or more important, people go out to the supermarket, what should they be looking for? Or do you go to your butchers? What do you think? Butchers. Butchers every Ab time. Absolutely. You can see here, this duck is actually it, it's, a, it's a nice piece of duck. But what can happen when the duck's not very good is it's a bit soft and fatty. Okay. You want it white and hard. Uh huh. So they, they, it's a good sign of the duck being, you know, nice then. Fresh. So yeah, fresh exactly, and okay. it won't be so flaccid as well. It'll be nice and firm and together. Okay, chef. Right? So it's very important. And what about these little fine bits of sinew here? Are you one of the chefs who like to remove it, or do you kind of keep it on and think, hey, don't 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 interfere with it? Too yeah, much? no, I like to keep it on. I'll trim a little bit of the excess fat off because it does render down quite a lot. Uh -huh. So I'm going to leave most of that on there. If, which occasionally, you get like a, quite a large artery, yeah. you can trim that off. But don't worry about the sinew or anything like that. No, leave that on. And Sharon, how often do you eat duck? Is it something you do at home or you're more inclined to eat it when you go to a restaurant? I'll do it at home, baby. Yeah. I'll eat it everywhere, but I love to do it at home. Yeah. Yes, yeah, lots of score it at the top, little yeah. spicy. And how do you do it? <laughs> oh, well, a myriad of ways, my darling. <laughs> now, a myriad of sorry, ways. So you'll see that I'm actually not putting any fat in the pan. Yeah. There's enough in the sorry, skin. Chef. So I'm just going to put that straight down in the yeah. pan and cook it that way. OK. OK, so I'm so not no going to put any no fat in the pan. Towards, just don't need it, it, don't need it. All right, then. There we go. I'm just going to pull, because oh, this is for the broth. Mm. So I'm just going to pull the skin off of that. Lovely. That'll come mm. off quite easily. There so we go. Where did you get your food passion from? Where did that all come from? Mummy. Mummy. Mummy, man. Is she a great cook? Mummy can cook mm. food. And mummy cooks the wickedest pork. Really? This side of Jamaica. Oh, I, know. I I miss my mum for that. You know, she's oh. gone now, but they do. Mum's just doing... Does she have lots of cookbooks to assist her? Or? Not one. Right. Not a piece of cookbook. Mummy would just cook by imagination, by heart, mm. by smell, Feel, by taste, soul. by... Look at that. No, look at more of that. Yeah. No, look at more of that. Yeah. That's how mummy cooks. I know. <laughs> it's kind of nice, though, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Have you ever done that, Chef? Licking more, licking more, licking more? <laughs> yeah, just, just... Sometimes I'll be in the kitchen, I'll just keep adding and adding and get to the point where I have to say, listen, guys, just stop. <laughs> just sit down and <laughs> I eat. I forgot what Everyone I put Everyone else in. is hungry, yeah, and I'm just sitting there fiddling. <laughs> I'm OK, we've got three head. minutes have disappeared, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it really does go particularly fast on it's this show. Darling. Let's leave Sharon and Gary to get on with it. When we come back, we'll look at the asparagus. We'll talk more about yes, pork, but first, thing. let's find out about what Nick is doing with his Thanks. salmon. Uh, OK, okay Chef. So we're just getting the first bit of salmon ready for baking in the oven. So mm -hmm. what I've done is just take a, a sheet of the phyllo, some olive oil on here, a bit of seasoning uh, on here as well, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. And then we're just going to minutes, finish chef. off this side here, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put the salmon uh, on the centre, like so, and then we're going to flavour that with the capers, uh, salmon and capers, I mean, think of smoked salmon, Yeah, uh, it works really, really nicely. And did you um, want some lemon, oh, here we are. Lemon zest, I'm all ready to go, yeah. I'm surprisingly organised. If you were looking for a job, you could chop that parsley on there, so that oh, keeps it moving yeah, on. Yeah. I know what, you just want to get in front, don't you? Uh, this, is a, this is a kind of, there's a nice chefy feel over here, yeah. uh, in fact, both sides. There we are, chef, Corsi okay. top, do you want a bit in there or not? Um, oh, sorry, yes, I nearly forgot about that, there That's you go. the salmon's just going here. In there. Are you uh, enjoying this, Luke? Very much so. Yeah. Just, uh, just yeah. getting into it. We've given the easy stuff so far, which is mm. OK. Perfect. So we're just going to take that yeah. down and then chop that off at the ends. Yeah. Here, we're going to get that in a baking sheet and get that in the oven. Yeah, beautiful. Can you put that in a bowl, add some olive oil. It's here. Mm. We'll make yep. a little sauce vierge. And we'll just pop that in there. A little uh, bit of sesame. Seeds on the top, like mm. so. And uh, a little bit of seasoning. So a little bit of salt easy recipe pepper. to follow, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you found oh, that very easy? Very good indeed. OK. okay. So all of those nice, nice flavours in there, and that's going to take about 10 minutes. 
and that's important to take out and leave it to relax. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Luke? Are you quite good at uh, improvising like that? Or uh, you've got I'm... loads of books that you think, what recipe am I going to cook tonight? It's actually a bit of both. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of books, but yeah. I don't read them and I improvise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should read them. Oh, garlic really. in there as well. Improvisation. And what was food like when you were growing up, then? It was good, but it was improvised. That's where, you know, I learned from my mother, who happens yeah. to be in the audience. Um, oh, but, really? Yes. Don't say too much, Luke. No. Don't say too much. My father seemed to uh, incorporate chickpeas into every dish. Ah, oh, vegetarian um, or just to be like that texture? I think it was just what happened to be available in the